What's up guys, thanks for joining us today. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to install rear trailing arm bushings in your E36 and E46. So for this installation, it's pretty straightforward when it comes to installing the bushings. They are a two-piece design. So one goes in from opposite sides, the race gets pressed in, and then it gets sandwiched in with the little plate here. To remove it, you're gonna have a bolt and nut combo. So it's an 18. It's really tight. The way I'm actually gonna remove the bushing, I'm actually using CTA specialty tool number 7642. This is meant specifically for E36, E46 R-Tab bushings. So you can remove and install. Highly recommend you get it. It's gonna make your life easier and faster. There are other ways to do it. A little bit more dangerous. I'm using the tool. So we're gonna screw this on. So once you got the tool in place, you wanna go ahead and jam the two nuts. That's a 17 with a 14. I already jammed it, and then I'm gonna use a ratcheting 14 to make it go a little bit faster. But you can apply some heat to the actual trailing arm itself just to help it release a little easier. This one's actually coming out really pretty smooth on its own, so don't think I'm gonna need the heat. So the way it works is this U-shaped metal piece here actually lines up on the outer edge of the trailing arm, allowing the bushing to actually get pressed into it. And the outer piece actually, it's just small enough to fit inside the actual trailing arm inside diameter. So this tool actually has a countersink in it that lines up on the race of the actual bushing. So you can pretty much be guaranteed that it's centered to the actual inside diameter of the trailing arm. So that's a little nice touch. So once you got the bushing removed, you wanna go ahead and clean out the inside diameter of the trailing arm. This one wasn't too bad. Looks like I just needed to wipe it down with a rag. Should be good for the uh, installation now. But if it is gunky, a lot of uh, rust in there, you wanna go ahead and get a fairly high grit sandpaper. Clean it all up. You don't wanna dig in too much and possibly open up the hole a little bit more. Now, when it comes to installation, it's pretty straightforward for all durometers. So we're actually gonna be installing the 88 durometer. The same process is gonna go for the 95A. For the Delrin R-Tabs, you will have to use a specialty tool just to help it press it back in. You might get away with using a rubber mallet, but I recommend using the tool. Installation is super straightforward, nothing to it. Line it up, and then you can actually just walk it in by hand. You can even use a rubber mallet. A little extra oomph. Then you take the other side, same thing. The outside bushing is actually gonna be a little easier to go in just because it does have a chamfer in it from the factory to help guide the factory bushing in. You can kind of see the slit on both sides. It is a little bit more open. So as it starts to get pressed in, it'll start to close. So that's why that little chamfer is there. Take the race. There we go. Then you wanna go ahead and check all around, make sure there's no gaps. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and put the uh, bracket on. Slides right over it. Put the bolt through. Nut. Once you got the bracket on, the bolt through with the nut, you wanna go ahead and torque that to 81 foot-pounds. So there you have it, it's pretty straightforward with the right tools. One of the reasons I highly recommend that specialty tool is because you can actually do it while the whole treading arm is in the car. You remove the three bolts holding the bracket to the chassis, the arm falls down. With the specialty tool, you can do it then and there. You don't have to drop the whole arm like this, for example, but there are other ways around it. 
but just go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side and it's also the exact same thing for your E46. This is a E36 rear treading arm, uh, exact same process for E46. But that's it, hope you enjoyed the video, hope this helps you guys, stay tuned for more videos.